Hey there, so Midian here, and welcome back to Marvel Legendary. Last time we defeated the Kingpin. Down to 28 Masterminds and Commanders remaining. I've had a pretty good string of luck with the hero randomization recently. I've gotten a lot of relatively synergistic heroes recently, and it's been nice. Sometimes it can be hard to figure out how you want to... How you want to play with a group of heroes but recently i've been doing pretty good with them so today we're facing killmonger killmonger has more than zero attack you cannot fight him instead you may spend attack equal to his attack to wound him and get plus one recruit he always leads the killmongers league and master strike each player must reveal four different hero classes or gain one of the wounds on killmonger any player who cannot do either must just stay on discard down to four cards so you want a lot of different classes, which doesn't usually work out too well. Unless you've got like specific heroes that synergize with a lot of different hero classes. Um, so it's likely we're going to be getting a lot of wounds. And the scheme is to crush them with my bare hands. Set up five twists if playing solo at an extra villain group. Twist, this twist becomes a master strike that takes effect immediately. Oh my god. Evil wins when eight Master Strikes have taken effect. Okay. So there's ten Master Strikes in the deck. Oh. And Evil wins when eight of them have come out. That's going to be really hard to deal with. That's so little room for error. Okay. This is rough. This is a rough timer scheme. Alright, uh, we're also facing the Ravengers and the Giants of Jotunheim. We're playing as High Tech Spider Man, Bruce Banner, Joe Fixit Grey Hulk, Null Breaker of Worlds, and Siren. I don't know how this is going to go. I'm going to click this button. Ambush return a wound from the mastermind and from each villain to the wound stack. While Malice has more than zero attack, you cannot fight her. Instead, you may spend attack equal to her attack to wound her and rescue a bystander. Okay. So I got a 4 4 and a 3 5 split. There is a 5 cost in here that I could take. What does this do? Gain a wound if you do KO up to two other cards from your hand in her discard pile. This is really nice. Okay. Probably taking these two on the right, assuming I don't get screwed over by a twist coming out. Spider-Man? Uh, this helps with this because you can put a two cost on top from the investigate I'll try it I suppose all right not a whole lot of two costs coming up but maybe there will be more later Taser face gets plus two attack while he commands the Ravengers. He is currently commanding the Ravengers because he is the leftmost villain of the villain group. Ambush, swap Taser face with the leftmost Ravenger in the city. Okay. Well, this is the plan, but if a Master Strike comes out, the plan gets ruined because I'll have to discard down to four. But I'll do it anyways, because maybe it won't get ruined. And if it does get ruined, I'll just pick up Threat and Bribe instead. Ambush. A villain from your victory pile enters the city. Wound that villain, then wound Baron Macabre. Er, Macabre? Is the RE silent? Macabre. Macabre? I don't know. Uh, I don't have a villain in my victory pile. 
All right, I either take this or I take this to trigger this. And then when I wall crawl this, I can easily get the trigger on this. Okay. The city's a little, little spicy. Or the HQ, I mean. Okay, my plan was not ruined. I'm gonna buy this. Okay, so this is a Master Strike. Each player must reveal four different hero classes or gain one of the moons on Killmonger. Uh, nope. Any player who cannot do either must discard down to four cards. Okay, I cannot do either. Um, three attack I don't think is going to help me unless I get more attack from this. I do like this. And pick up this. Well, this side has an easy choice. This side's discarding these two. Yeah, I could discard these two. Okay, what is the chances that I hit this? Two and nine? On each one? Two and nine on each of the top two cards? How does that math work out? I don't know. I'm discarding these two. And I'm investigating for Covert. Yep, that didn't work. Gonna buy this recon drones. That's the that's the good stuff. That's the secret sauce right there. Ambush wound venom. Each player may discard a card to wound venom again. This turn I want to buy this so I can discard this to wound him again, and then this side. So I discard this. Alright, this guy's at a uh, six now. Ambush. Each player discards the top three cards of their deck. Okay. Alright, I'm going to start with this. I choose a villain and can fight it with recruit and attack this turn. I don't think this is going to matter. This only works for fighting. It doesn't work for wounding. So I guess I pick something that I can actually fight this one. Um, not that that's going to matter. Then I'm going to buy this for two, which wall crawls it. Then reveal the top card of my deck, cost two or less, draw it, and covert trigger draw a card. Then danger sense three. Alright, that's not great. I just put both of them on top. Just discard down to four. If they both come out on top, the discard down to four doesn't affect one side on the next turn, so. Yeah, I'll just put them both on top, I guess. And then. Two attack. Choose two villains in adjacent city space. Each of them gets minus one attack, okay? What am I fighting this turn? Four, five, four, five, three, five. 
You're a three. No, that's not enough. It's awkward. Oh, this is gonna be one extra recruit if I fight you. Should let me buy a sidekick. I don't think it matters what villains I weaken with this at all, because I can only fight one thing no matter what. Or can I? If you're at four, and I spend a recruit to fight you, because I did choose you with threat and bribe. No, I still can't fight this. Okay. Yeah, this doesn't matter. I fight this for four. Because I chose it, apparently. And when I kidnap this guy, I plus one recruit, and I'm going to buy a sidekick. Okay, so each player must reveal four different hero classes, or gain one wounds on Killbong, or any player cannot do either. Must discard down to four cards. So these don't do anything. And... Am I buying an officer? The HQ is really expensive. I think I should. Uh, Yo-yo. And a sidekick. Okay, so I need to do that again. And again, I'm going to choose these two. Now I'm going to investigate for Covert. Just put them on the bottom. I'm gonna copy her and investigate for covert. To attack, and this is both tech and this, so I do get the trigger. You're at six, that would be five. You're at six, that would be five. Should weaken one of these two. So give me two extra recruit, which will let me buy a sidekick, I guess. I don't think I need to. I think I should fight this one. So I'm going to use this to weaken these two and fight you for six. For, f for five, I mean. And then the wounds go back to the wound stack. Ambush, each player discards the top three cards of their deck. God, this is awkward. Am I buying another officer? I need to get to I need to get to these cards otherwise yeah on this weapon ambush if Yondu is in the city he captures this if he is in any player's end victory probably enters an empty city space and then captures this uh, I don't think there's a Yondu in here no so it just goes to here and gives plus four attack Artifact. Whenever you play a covert or ranged card, you get plus one attack. Okay, I want this on the left. Danger sense three. Okay, that is a one. idea what order I want these in. Okay, I want this below this. I want this above this so that this captures this. And then this on top, I guess. I don't know. 
have a gray in here that I can KO. Yep, okay, I'm gonna fight this for three. Fight, you may KO a gray hero from your discard pile. I'm gonna KO this. I'm a three recruit, I think I'm buying an officer on this side too. Okay, so each player needs to discard down to four. Ah, this is awkward. If I keep all of this, I can wound you. What am I buying? I can't, I don't want this on this side. Mm. I could just yo, 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 and buy like a sidekick or something. Okay, I'll discard these two. I'm going to wound you for four and rescue a bystander and two recruit and I'm going to yo 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 I'm going to put her on top of my deck I'm going to buy a sidekick ambush each player discards the top three cards of their deck to investigate for tech. Never lucky. I don't want to buy this many officers, but I feel like I need to, and I don't like that. I don't like feeling that way. Ambush, play another card from the villain deck. Ambush, a villain from your victory pile enters the city. Don't have one. Wound that villain and wound Baron Macabre a number of times equal to the villain's printed VP. Okay, I can buy a thing this turn. That's great. I love buying things. I guess I'm buying this thing. What does Underworld boss do again? Choose a villain in your victory pile. You can attack this. Okay. This is currently trash. Because I don't have any villains in my victory pile, but... It'll happen eventually, I guess. Am I yo-yoing yo-yo again? I think so. I'm gonna put her back on top. Buy this. Okay, first of all, this has escaped, so this goes back here, and I need to KO something from in here, and I think I'm going to KO this. Yeah. Yandu gets plus two attack while he commands the Ravagers, ambush swamp Yandu with the leftmost Ravager in the city. Instinct card. You may get plus two attack, and if you do, shuffle this into the villain deck. This sort of slows the game down, except it doesn't because the ambush effect plays another card. I don't know, this could be useful on this side. Um, I'm trying to figure out who I want to threaten and bribe. Can I fight both of these? this turn. Probably not. What if I fight both of these? Four, five. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
plus whatever I danger sense. So yeah, I could. What if I weaken these two? Seven and seven, that's 14. I don't have enough to do that. Do I care more about KOing or clearing the city? Or do I care more about getting this this arrow? This arrow is pretty good on this side. I should get this arrow while I can. Okay, so I'm going to threaten and bribe this. Danger Sense 3. Okay. I put this on top? Mm, no, 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 no. Not this time. This ambush effect won't trigger. So I'm going to do it like this. And then to attack. I'm going to weaken these two. Okay, so this is at six. And this is at four. Okay, I can't fight both, but I will fight this for six. Uh, fight, you may KO a gray hero from your discard pile, and I get this triggered artifact. I just buy this, I guess. Ambush. Each player reveals an instinct hero or gains a wound that was on a mastermind or villain. There is none. I'm going to draw two. If I get a wound, I can KO two things. It's probably a good idea. Do I yo 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 again? I could buy that this turn just as a five attack card. I don't have any tech over here to trigger it. See a rare, buy a rare, five attack is a lot of attack. Okay, I'm gonna play these. And I'm gonna yo-yo-yo-yo again, just because I still need to recruit things. And then... Strength trigger, I may gain a wound, and if I do KO up to two other cards from my hand or discard pile, I'm going to KO two agents. I'm going to buy this. I'm going to wound this for three. Uh, spend attack equal to his attack to wound him and draw a card. Okay. Oh, I can yo, 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 I can. Fun me. Um, I'd rather have this on the left. I'm just going to buy a sidekick. Okay, this has escaped, which means I need to KO something from in here, and I think it's going to be one of these. Um, ambush, swap Kraglin with the leftmost Ravenger in the city. That would be you. I'm going to investigate for Covert. Okay. You're at six, you're at four, you're at five. Okay, so I can fight one of these two. I'm gonna wound you for two and draw a card. Danger sense three. Wound 
you for one and draw a card. Okay, I can fight a villain with recruits and attack this turn. So I could fight this for zero. And then... Fight you for... F this would make me draw two? I could fight this for six with threaten and bribe. I'm going to threaten and bribe this. I'm going to fight this kitty for zero, which returns all the wounds. And then I'm going to fight this for six. And fight if Kraglin was commanding the Ravengers, draw two. Okay. Real top card you deck costs two or less, draw it. Doesn't, and then I draw a card. Both of these. Ooh. Yeah. Ambush. Each player discards the top three cards of their deck. What is this? Why do I have this many sidekicks? Draw two. Draw two. Draw two. Okay, this hand is trash. Um, okay, what am I doing here? I can't trigger this, so I guess I'm playing all of these first. Not this one. No. Stop wiggling. Give me the yo-yo back. Okay. Stop! Okay. Three. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I don't know if I'm yo-yoing yo-yo anymore. I think I'm good. By this and this. Hulkbuster armor is probably pretty good, because I'm going to be giving myself wounds, but I think I have enough way to deal with that. I should, I should buy this and this. So am I yo yo and yo yo anymore? Probably not. First, I'm fighting this for three. Fight I'm a KO a gray hero for my discard pile. To recruit, I think it's time to send you undercover. I think I'm good on a lot of recruit now. I'm going to buy this for six. And I'm going to buy this for one. Ambush. Each player discards the top three cards of their deck. Can I stop discarding my rare? Okay, triggered artifacts. Whenever I play an instinct, no, covert or ranged card, I get plus one attack. Danger sense three. Okay. Put these on top now. Just because they're gonna happen. Can't change that. A uh, real top card of a deck costs two or less draw it. It doesn't, and whenever I play an instinct or range card, I get plus one attack. Not instinct, covert. Red is covert. Yellow is instinct. Okay, I'm going to fight this for three. Fight KO a gray hero for my discard pile. I'm going to buy this. Alright, there's no wounds on Killmonger, and I can't reveal four hero classes, so each side has to discard down to four. Okay, two recruits to attack, and I may gain a wound, and if I do, KO up to two other cards from my hand or discard pile. I'm going to KO the other wound, and this. Okay, same deal. Each 
player must reveal four different hero classes again when the wounds, and each player who cannot do either must discard down to four cards. And to investigate for tech. Um get an attack from this triggering and to attack I shatter every even cost in the HQ so these are all half price and I get one more attack from this and to attack and one recruit I buy this for one seven attack huh so give me two more recruit which will let me buy this for one Okay. Fight this for six. Wait, he was commanding the Ravengers, right? Yep, he was. Okay. And then I'm gonna buy that gives me two extra recruit. And I'm gonna buy this for one. I need more recon drones. Give me the drones. Ambush, each player discards the top three cards of their deck. attack one attack I'm going to sacrifice this to get three attack and then I make KO a card from my hand or discard pile yeah, nine attack can I fight a villain that has five attack or more this turn or six attack or more no I can't I can fight these two though KO two gray heroes from my discard pile I like that idea or I could wound you twice That's scary, though, because there's still four strikes in there. I don't think I'm winning. I've got to just hope that I don't get any more twists and just go for it, I think. I'm going to wound him for... This will give me a recruit twice. Okay, I'm going to wound him twice. For four and for five. Uh, which gives me two extra recruit, and I'm going to buy a sidekick. I need to start wounding him. And hope that this doesn't happen. Okay. Uh, so each player gains one of the wounds that was on Killmonger. Cool! I love doing that to myself. Danger Sense 3. Uh, when that comes out, I lose, so I need to just keep pushing that down as much as humanly possible. <laughs> uh, reveal the top card of my deck costs two less draw it, and I get an attack from this. Buy this for two. This for three, fight a Mikao, a gray hero for my discard pile. Okay, I do have a recon drone. Fight you may or ambush each player discards the top three cards of their deck. Alright. Uh five attack. Three attack. Two recruit. Smash two. Alright, I'm gonna wound you for five. She gives me a recruit. I'm gonna wound you for four. Give me a recruit. I'm gonna buy. Uh, I could throw this. Yeah, I'm gonna throw this for four attack. Wait. Hold up. I had two, and then four more, okay. And then I'm gonna wound you for three. Gives me a recruit, wound you for two. Gives me a recruit, wound you for one. Gives me a recruit, and uh, fight you for zero. 
Player on your left chooses a non-henchman villain from their victory pile. It enters the city with a wound on it. Then the player on your right does the same effect. Okay. Non-henchman. Enters the city with a wound on it. And non-henchman. Enters the city with a wound on it, and it gets another wound. Whoops. From its effect, and then each plus side may discard a card to... I'm going to keep that, actually. To wound it again. And then the wounds go away. So I need a recon drone every single turn or I lose, is what is currently happening, which is not great. Seven recruit, one of these, and one of these. Okay, this has escaped. What happens if a villainous weapon escapes? Does it go to the mastermind? Yes, okay, that is not good, but I couldn't have done anything about that after I fought him, so I need to KO something from in here, and I need to do this ambush effect. Each player discards the top three cards of their deck. Don't discard a recon drone. Okay. I'm going to start with this. Danger Sense 3. Okay, I'm going to investigate for... Covert. not playing this card. Um, that, that may sound stupid, but I'm not doing it. I get one more attack from this. Then two attack. I shatter everything even in here for one more attack. Two recruit. I'm going to threaten and bribe a giant, I guess. Gives me one more attack from this. I'm going to wound Killmonger for seven. One more recruit, so I could buy this. Shattering the Mastermind isn't very good in this setup. And I think it's too late for the KO. So I'll probably just buy this. For three. I could have fought this giant with threat and bribe, but I'm not going to. And I'm not playing this because I need to get the recon drones next turn. KO a card from my hand or discard pile. I'm going to KO this. I'm going to fight you for three. Fight, I may KO a gray hero from my discard pile. And I'm going to buy a new recruit. Ambush. Each player discards the top three cards of their deck. Don't discard a recon drone. Or I'm going to be very sad. Okay. I do have three, right? I think I have three. So it's possible I can still win. Uh, Danger Sense 3. Attack 
these two are being weakened. I'm going to fight you for two? Or draw stuff? I, I shouldn't draw. Drawing's bad because I might draw into my recon drones. I'm going to fight you for two. I'm a KO a gray here for my discard pile. I'm gonna buy this for six. Or this. Yeah, this one. Ambush of a Ravager captures this. That Ravager swaps spaces with the leftmost Ravager in the city. Okay, I got this. And... Uh, what does Demolish do again? Discard a card and then draw a card. No, reveal the top card of the hero. Okay, no, 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 no. I don't want to do that. Um, I'm just going to play this. And to attack, I gain a wound. And if I do KO up to two cards, other cards from my hand or discard pile. I'm going to throw this for six. I'm going to wound you for six. Use your recruit, and then I'm going to wound you for five. Use your recruit, then I'm going to wound you for two. Gives me a card draw. Five more attack. You're at four. I'm going to wound you for four. Gives me a recruit. I'm going to wound you for one. Which gives me a card draw. I'm going to choose not to play that, or not to do the trigger. I'm going to fight you for zero. And I'm going to buy a four attack card. Uh, I can't help but notice that I don't have my recon drones. <laughs> Ambush. Return a wound from the Mastermind and from each villain to the wound stack. I'm to investigate for tech. Okay, there's my recon drones. Um, I'm going to play my recon drones. Oh, also I get one more attack from this. I'm going to cost you. Let's draw it. And then I draw a card, and hopefully I don't draw into my recon drones. Okay, I didn't. One attack, I'm going to investigate for Covert. Get one more attack from this. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. I should have seven, because I should have one from this. Okay. Then three attack. I get plus one attack for each henchman in my victory pile. I think I have a few. I have a few. Okay, I'm going to wound you. F you're at seven, four. I'm going to wound you for four. Which gives me a recruit. I'm going to wound you for three. Which gives me a recruit. And I'm going to wound you for two. Using your recruit. Wound you for one. Get a recruit. Fight you for seven. Or for zero. Um, which gives me this, which I don't actually want, but it's mine now. I get plus one recruit for each non henchman villain in my victory pile. One, two, three. And all the wounds go back. Um, there's going to be an ambush effect that you gain wounds from the mastermind soon. 
so I shouldn't wound him again. I'm going to fight this for six, because I want this villainous weapon. And fight, I make KO a gray here for my discard pile. I don't have one, but I would want the weapon. Nine recruit. This doesn't do anything. This is like a two attack card, sort of, for the masterminds on the turn that you play. Oh, that's kind of better than that. Yeah, it's actually a lot better than that. Never mind. This is pretty good. Ambush. Each player discards the top three cards of my deck. Don't discard my recon drones. Unless I have one in my hand, I don't. Uh, don't discard my recon drones. Okay. Uh, this is not good. Because I don't have a recon drone next turn. And I have two. I got two in there. It's possible that I can still survive. Let's see, three attack. And two recruit, smash two. And two attack. One more attack. Wounding you is bad because this is just gonna go back. I'm gonna fight you for three. Fight and make KO a gray here for my discard pile. Then I'm gonna fight you for five. And I'm going to recruit this and this. Ambush. Each player reveals an instinct hero or gains a wound that was on a mastermind or a villain. This side reveals this. This side gets this. Alright, to recruit, I can fight you with recruit this turn. And time to see if I lose. Reveal top card or deck cost less draw it. It does, and then I draw a card. Oh, that's bad. That's very bad. Okay. I mean, it's not that bad. It's pretty bad. Danger Sense 3. Oh, I, and I get 2 attack from this thing. Danger Sense 3. Yeah. So I lose in 2 turns. And there's nothing I can do about that at all. I tried my best. This scheme is rough. This scheme is very rough. Okay, I'm going to wound you for five. She gives me this, and that's my turn, baby. I'm going to buy this. Ambush, Wound, Venom. Uh, what if I win this turn? Two recruit, and I'm going to demolish this side. So they need to discard a three cost. And then this goes on the bottom. And if the player discards a card this way, I draw a card. Uh, two attack, plus one more attack. One attack. And I have three of these, and I'm going to throw all of them for six attack each. I don't win this turn, but I got close. Wound you for four. Wound you for three. Two, and you for one, and fight you for zero. Draw two cards, then each other player discards a card. Uh, four attack, shatter all villains. 
Wait, do I have this? I don't think I have this. No, I don't. I don't shatter all bones. I'm gonna f wound you for three. Which draws me a card. I'm gonna wound you for two. Which draws me a card. Okay. I'm gonna wound you for one. Which draws me a card. Okay. Two recruit, and I'm gonna demolish this side again. For two. Which means I draw a card. Hold up, am I gonna win? No, maybe, hold up. Okay, I don't get the sacrifice. I'm gonna fight you for zero. Hold up. No, I would need 30 attack. Unless this... Unless this is good. I'm gonna wound you for five. And then four. And then three. And then two. And then one. And fight you for five. Each player... No, no, okay. That, that doesn't do anything. So I'm going to lose. Unless... What bystanders could save me? Are there any bystanders that shuffle the villain deck? There's Detective Wolverine, which investigates. Hold up, if I get Detective Wolverine... What are the chances of that? It's so unbelievably low, but I guess I gotta go for it. Wound you for four and rescue a bystander. Player reveals the top card of the deck. Judge one of those cards to be best in show. That player draws that card. Uh, this one's best in show. And then I'm gonna wound her for three. Oh, also I gained five more recruit from wounding this guy. And I rescue a bystander. Okay, I didn't. It was worth a shot. Where is Detective Wolverine in here? Um, low. I don't. There he is. Yeah, that that wasn't happening. But you never know. It could have. It could have. All right. Buy this. Buy this. Ah, eh, this one too. What about this one? Ah, oh, cool. All right. And when eight master strikes have t strikes have taken effect, I lose. Unfortunate. I tried my best. But recon drones can only do so much. They only delayed the inevitable. This scheme is rough. This scheme's really rough. I liked these decks, though. This one was really fun. If only I got it smaller, I could have... Ah, uh, if I just had a turn where I could draw a lot, and I could, like, throw these and then draw them again... Ah. Uh, this is such a good card. But yeah, right side had that oomph, that power, and then the left side was, uh, Recon Drones. Recon Drones and some other good stuff. This worked really well with these... Ah, I was so close, so close, and yet so far. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.